What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Cherry, and welcome back to Life of Cherry Vlogs. So, Cherry Blossom, I'm sitting here at my desk. Somebody's blowing their horn outside. The house is a mess. The Christmas tree is still up. Okay, it is, what is today? Today is this December, no. Today is January the 5th, I believe. And yeah, for the last couple of days, your girl has just not been feeling it. Like, I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know, like, my mood, my mood and everything has been off. i just been feeling like, it's weird. I've been feeling extremely, extremely emotional. Um. Oh, yeah, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> I've been feeling, like, extremely, extremely emotional and I'm not sure why, like, the littlest, simplest, smallest thing would trigger me off, um, uh, would make me start crying, like, it's crazy. The other day, I was late picking up Myla from school, I was legit 10 minutes late, and when I got to the school, like, I called my boyfriend, panicking, I was like, I'm about to start crying, and he's like, just calm down, relax, like, you act like you lost her. You're just a few minutes late, like, you know where she's at. Like, you know, just go and get her. But I felt, like, so bad and so down about it. Like, I don't know. I'm just I'm just so emotional. I just haven't been enthusiastic about anything these last couple of days. I just haven't been motivated. And I don't like to come on camera with, like, a Debbie Downer type of vibe or type of mood because that's not that's not who I am like I like to be happy upbeat you know since being pregnant I have genuinely truly been happy been feeling happy I have been I told my boyfriend like I'm just loving my pregnancy body like I have really been enjoying this pregnancy but it's just like something just came over me something just hit me and it's a feeling that I'm having trouble just, like, shaking off. Like, even right now talking for no reason, like, nothing's wrong with me. I legit feel like I could just start crying. Like, it's crazy. My boyfriend leaves for work, and I'm crying. And he's like, you're really about to cry because I'm leaving for work? And I'm telling him, like, I don't know what it is. Like, it's just, like, I don't know. It's, it's hard for me to explain. It's hard for me to um put in words exactly why I'm feeling this way, I just am. I know when I was pregnant with Myla, I went through postpartum depression and I went through, what do you call it, prenatal depression? I don't know if it's called prenatal. I went through pre, post, during pregnancy. I don't know what it's called. I went through during pregnancy, the pre let me see. Where's my phone? Let me look it up so I could get the, so I could get the terms right. Um, come on, and this is my old phone. I do not like using this phone because it's so old, it's always glitching and freezing. But anyways, what is it called when you go through depression while pregnant? Prenatal. According to National Institute of Medicine. Yeah, it's called prenatal. So yeah, when I was pregnant with Milo, I went through prenatal depression and I went through um, postpartum depression. I don't know, I pray and hope that's not what's about to happen to me or with me during um, during this time. I just hope that this is a feeling that I'll shake like within a day or two, but I don't know. I just have to be, I told myself, I really need to be mindful. I am aware of the signs and symptoms of going through depression and I just I really hope that I'm not but like I'm really about to start crying y'all for no reason but I'm a G I'm from I'm from New York we don't we don't shed tears nah. but um I really hope that's not the case but I just been like in a very very just down type of mood and that's just that's not like me that's legit not how I've been so I don't know I don't know what's going on with me I don't know like I just don't know so because of that I haven't been motivated to do much of anything like 
I haven't done laundry since the new year came in. So it's legit been like five days and me not doing laundry in five days. Like that's not, you know, all the Christmas, all the Christmas stuff is still up. Myla's been begging me, can we please, can we please take the Christmas tree down together? Like she's really wanted to help me do it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do it together. We're going to do it together. And then every day it just doesn't happen. So I told her, I said, tonight when you go to bed, oh, and by the way, it is currently 9.09 p.m., so it's pretty late. Milo's already in bed. My boyfriend's still at work. Um, Yeah, so it's currently 9.09 p.m., and I told her, I said, I'm sorry, but when you go to bed tonight, I'm going to um, take the Christmas tree down. I said, I'm, I'm going to get the strength to get the Christmas tree down because we're not about to roll into the second week of January and my tree is still up. I made a joke that I was going to keep the tree up to February and how I'm feeling in my spirit. <laughs> I want to keep I I want to keep the tree up, but I'm like, nah, I need to I need to get to it. So, um I don't know. I'm just trying to get my myself together, just get the strength, the energy, the whatever the case may be to to just push through and move forward. My boyfriend's like, is this how the ending of your pregnancy is going to be? And I'm like, I hope and pray it's not. But, like, when it comes to dealing with depression, um, which, honestly, I wouldn't say that I'm depressed. I think I'm just, like, going through a mood or a change right now. But um, when it comes to depression, because I have experienced it, um, I know that it is there's nothing that can prevent a person from getting it you could have everything you want in your life and more and still become depressed you could have you know absolutely nothing and be depressed you can be the happiest that you've been and who knows how long and like depression will still come and hit you at least i know like when it comes to the pregnancy part of things so, um, yeah, tonight I'm going to take down a Christmas tree. Honestly, I don't know. I think I'm going to just take all the ornaments off the tree. And then maybe tomorrow I'll take down a Christmas tree. Or I'll take all the ornaments off and then tell my boyfriend to take down a tree. But um, I'm going to work on getting this tree down. And all these Christmas decorations, they got to go. They got to go. I have not taken anything down from Christmas. Like, even in my kitchen, my oven mitts is still Christmas. Um... The stuff on my desk, I have this here, um, that's from Christmas. So yeah, I'm going to take down some, some of these Christmas decorations. I'm going to try to straighten up my couch and my living room a little bit. Um, I'm going to see if I feel like it. I really don't feel like it, but I need to. Um, I'm going to try to get a load of laundry going. And then um, I need to do some... I need to make a grocery list because we are planning on going, and y'all will see this video. We're planning on going to Walmart to do some grocery shopping and some household shopping. So I will record that. And then also we're going to BJ's to bulk up on um, certain items, and I will record that as well. So stay tuned for those two videos um, when I go and record it and I edit it, then, then y'all will get that content. But yeah, um, I have to do some planning some menu planning and meal planning and things like that and i'm going to use this book right here oh that's somebody in the hallway i'm like is somebody about to knock on my door yo these neighbors i'm sick of them i'm sick of them but um yeah i'm going to use this book right here and i do want to show y'all do i even have my other books here i don't even think i do where is it i got one book over there i'm gonna get where are the other books Give me one, give me one second, y'all. All right, so I wanna show y'all something. Um, I do have a book line and it is available on Amazon. It's a notebook line and I have not been promoting it at all. I have not been like, I just, you know, I don't know. I just haven't been working my other sources of income the way I'm supposed to. And although right now, in this moment, you know, I'm not feeling my best and 
I'm like kind of in a Debbie Downer type of mood. I made a goal and a promise to myself that in 2024, I was going to put my all into any um, business I started, put my all into any you know just just anything that i started like girl you need to shut it down and let it go or you need to um push for it to excel and succeed so one of those things is my notebook line and i'm going to have the links down below in the description box but um don't mind it says not for resale because i order the samples of my notebooks but trust me when you get yours yours is not going to say not for resale but um here's one of my notebooks that i did create and this is a meal planner and shopping list. And it looks like this. And I do use it. Inside it just has a quote, plan what you eat, eat what you plan. And I do use it to um, plan out shopping lists and things of that nature. And I'm going to go to a blank page so y'all can see. So basically on one side it has your weekly meal planner where you just um, plan out all of your meals. It has um, space for snacks, any little notes you want to put about the meals that you are planning, you could put here. And then on the other side, it has a grocery list for the week for the meals that you are planning out. Now, you could use this side to make an actual grocery list that you need to go to the store and get. Or you can use this side to, um, yeah, I got a paper in it, I don't belong. Or you can use this side to um, just write down all the ingredients that you will need for the week in order to execute your meal planning. And then all the way in the back of this book, I have space for recipes. So you'll write um, the name of your recipe, the ingredients for your recipe, and exactly how you make that particular recipe. So yeah, I'm going to be using this, and I always use this to do um, my meal planning in. So if you're interested in getting your copy of this meal planning book, then by all means, check the link in the description box because I will have a link there for it for you to be able to get yours. Um, here's another notebook that I did create. And it's just a composition notebook like this. And I definitely use this notebook all the time as well. And let me go to a blank page. It just has, hold on, let me get to a blank page. Ooh. Yeah, I use this note for someone. It just has um, line pages like this for you to write whatever you want to write. I have about legit 40 different styles and variations of notebooks available on Amazon that I did create. And um, they are there to be purchased. So again, if you are interested in these notebooks, and also on the, on the side of my screen, I don't know if I'm going to put it right here or right here, just look either way or <laughs> right here i'm going to also include some pictures of some other notebooks i have i have notebooks for um zodiac signs i have like just a variety in array in an array of notebooks whether you are 10 years old or you are 60 years old like you can use a notebook a notebook comes in handy and i have them as you can tell in multiple sizes so yeah if Y'all want to support your girl, okay? And it's not like I'm asking you for cash apps or something like that. It's legit you're purchasing something that you like, that you want, that you will use, that will benefit you, okay? Um, if you want to support me in that way, then by all means, check the links in my description box. And I'll also pin it in the comments so y'all can um, get your hands on some of these notebooks that I do have available. Um, I also have another YouTube channel that I'm going to get back into posting on as well and just a lot of a lot of things that i started in 2023 and i kind of just let fizzle out i'm like i'm back on it this year for sure so yeah that's that i'm also um actually i really i really am dreading getting up and doing this tree but your girl needs to do it um i hope y'all can appreciate me coming to this platform and even recording this video being open honest transparent you know vulnerable in a sense because one thing I don't want to do is get on camera and fake the funk like if I'm happy and I'm smiling and I'm bubbly and in a great mood I want y'all to see that and if I'm just not feeling it or if I'm having 
a down moment in life or whatever the case may be, then I want to be transparent with y'all as well. I don't want to get on this camera and start like faking and pretending and like, no, what, how I feel in life is, is what you will get on camera. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just really not in the mood to do nothing, but I know I have a lot of stuff to do. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to go do my nails uh, and my feet. My nails are kind of grown out. I don't know if you can see that well. And then this nail broke. Like, it's hurting so much because it broke in the meat. It broke so far down. So I think I'm just going to um, get the polish removed off my nails. Oh, and the baby is... This baby, this baby don't even be kicking. He do kick. He do kick. But now his new thing is... Um, he just be moving. I told my boyfriend, I said, I swear, he's on his elbows and knees going like this, like slithering around because he be moving all over the place. One moment I feel him over here, next moment, over there, next moment. Like, I'm like, boy, what is you doing in there? Like, I wish I had a, um, a ultrasound machine at home so I could hook it up and just see. Like, when he's doing a lot of moving, see exactly what he's doing. And what's going on in there um something i have been trying to do to pick myself up is my baby shower not the virtual one i am going to do a virtual baby shower um the link for that for my registry will be down below as well but i am going to do a virtual baby shower and i am doing a baby shower like with my family and friends so my real baby shower well I'm not saying the virtual one is fake but um my in-person let me say that my in-person baby shower is coming up and I have just been like planning and preparing and, you know, shopping for dresses and things like that to try to help me get excited and, and boost my spirits up. But I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know why I'm so like blah, lackluster or whatever the case may be. I told my boyfriend today, I'm like, I need a, um, I need love. And he's like, when I come home tonight, he was like, um, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna get straight in the bed with you. Because usually, just like any normal person would do when they get off of work, um, they come home, they want to wind down, find something to eat, maybe watch something on TV. Um, he takes a shower before he gets in the bed, then he'll get in the bed. So it's legit like a two-hour process before he actually comes to bed once he gets home. And he told me tonight, he's like, I'm going to come straight in the house and I'm going to get straight in the bed with you. Like, you need love, I got you. Um, he's been working overtime because the baby is coming soon. So I can't knock him or be mad at him for that. And I'm not even saying I'm feeling down in this way because, like, he's not here or whatever the case may be. It's just, I don't know. You know, you're feeling down. You just you just need a bear hug. You just need, maybe you just need your butt cheeks rubbed on. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know what it is. But, yeah. All right. So let me sit down and do nothing. <laughs> now let me... Start to take down this tree, or at least at least take the ornaments off of the tree. If I don't take the tree down tonight, I'm going to at least take the ornaments off of the tree, and then I'm going to try to take some of this other stuff around the house down. And um, I definitely need to do a load of laundry, but I'm really, I don't think I'm going to do laundry. I really don't think I'm going to do it. I don't know, y'all. This, this is just me. This video is more so, and my lips look so crusty. I feel like every time I get on camera, my lips just crusty. <laughs> this video is just more so, like, me venting. Me, you know, talking to y'all as a person, as a woman, as a mom, as, you know, a human. <laughs> like, like that's basically it. That's 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 exactly what, what's, what's happening now. I didn't want to go MIA. I didn't want to go on a hiatus. I didn't want to pretend that this is not how I'm feeling or this is not what I am going through. So here you have it. Welcome to Life of Cherry. Yep. Every day ain't sunshine and rainbows, boo. But every day I get up and I'm grateful for waking up. And every day I just keep um, persisting and pushing forward and things like that. I'm hoping and praying that by the time the weekend is over, your girl will be back like back to her regular degular self but yeah thank y'all for listening to me <laughs> thank y'all for for you know always rocking with me um thank y'all for leaving comments thank y'all for being positive for the most part 
somebody did leave me a comment one day and it didn't bother me but i do read all the comments and they was like oh no i can't watch your videos because you talk too much and i'm like well boo, do yourself a favor and exit exit to the left because if you just want to see me in action and you don't want to sit down and chat with me you don't want to get to know you know the real me hear my thoughts and things that's going on then i'm not i'm not the person for you i'm not like i'm a chatty patty i can admit that but it helps me feel connected to y'all because when i talk about certain things and i read the comments it's like oh yes i've experienced that oh yes that has happened to me oh this is what you could do or why don't you try this like th this is how i bond and and connect with my viewers, connect with my subscribers, connect with my YouTube family by, you know, talking to y'all about shit. Like, and that's just that. Anyway, let me start taking these ornaments off this tree. Oh, and if you're new here, hey, boo, hey, sorry this is the first video you're watching of me with me being, um, you know, mopey, but be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to turn on your post notifications so you'll know the next time. I post a new video. All right. I love y'all for watching. Let's get to taking these ornaments down. All right. I do feel a little chilly. So I'll just grab me a, a little hoodie to put on. I'm going to use this bag right here and put all the ornaments inside this bag. I did buy a Christmas tree bag from Amazon. Thank you to whoever suggested I do that because y'all know the box that this Christmas tree was in. It was busting out. So I'm going to put all the ornaments in this bag, and then once the tree is in a Christmas tree bag, then I can put the ornaments on top of it. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Let me know down in the comments if you still have your Christmas tree up like me, or is it already done down like your house is back to normal and so on for it. All right, let's get started. It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why are you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me When I need you most We got love guaranteed And I have to know Say Tell me where you be, cause I gotta know Let me know when you're ready Cause I made reservations Too many invitations Alright, so here's the tree I did take all the ornaments off I decided that I'm not about to strain myself By trying to um, break this tree down and put it in a box So I will leave that for my boyfriend I'm gonna take this wreath down These stockings down I'll just show y'all really quick. I have something for Christmas over here. I still have my Christmas stuff here. This plate and thing for Santa over here. Your girl ain't got no dishes, okay? I've been feeling down, but I've been keeping up with the house for the most part. I still got my Christmas mat here, which I now need to replace and find another mat. But this mat is like memory foam or something. It's so freaking comfortable. So I just might keep this up a little bit longer until I find one that's just as comfortable as this one. I got stuff up here still that needs to come down. My Christmas countdown calendar. And then this little stuff that I have put on the door. As well as this bow here. And here's how my couch is looking. It's a mess. Um, My boyfriend's co-worker brought this stuff for the baby. So thank you so much. Shout out to her. Um, my Christmas pillows, I'm going to actually store them inside the couch, get this Christmas throw. So, you know, I got some stuff that I need to do and put away. So I'm just going to focus on everything else and then leave the tree, um, for my boyfriend to break down and put inside of the, the Christmas tree bag.
Okay, so right here is just a bag of bags that needs to go out to the garbage. This is how my couch is looking. And y'all was right. I had to um, ask y'all, should I get the pillows that say Merry Christmas or the snowflake pillows? And y'all was like, get the snowflake one. You could keep them to, you know, January, February. And my boyfriend really wanted the Merry Christmas one, so I got them. But now if I take these two pillows off, I won't have no pillows on the couch. So I'm going to just leave these Merry Christmas pillows for now. Over here, let's come to the tree. Everything, I gotta get that cup up, but everything from the tree is off. My boyfriend can take the tree down. Everything that was on the walls over here is off. I did leave these little hooks because I might, um, I don't know, like as the year goes on, different holidays come, I might decorate these spots with certain things or I might peel them off later. Um, this is just a bag with like toys and stuff. I need to put these in Myla's room, but because she's sleeping, I'm just leaving here for now. These are all ornaments. It's going to go in the tree bag once the tree goes in. And this is just all the Christmas decorations, like the overflow of the Christmas stuff. I'm going to try to find a better bag for this. If not, I'm going to just stick this right in the bottom of my closet and that's, that's just going to be that. All right, so now I'm sitting at my kitchen table. Let me move this over for now. And I'm about to eat some oranges. So I, me and Myla, we be in this house tearing up oranges. So when I went to the supermarket this time around, I brought a whole bunch of oranges. I think I bought seven oranges. And I usually just fill them up in this bowl and, you know, we just eat them. But apparently, your girl wasn't reading. And I brought um, blood oranges. And I never had blood oranges. So this is how they look. When I cut them open, I was like, what the? Myla was like, oh, my gosh. And I actually taste it because I'm like, I'm not going to throw this whole bin of oranges away. And um, they don't taste that bad. Like, I still want my oranges, but they don't taste bad to the point where I can't eat them. 
is a, a cross between an orange and like um like a grapefruit like it's like a, a combination of, of tastes like i feel like when i'm eating it i'm getting more than one flavor like more than one fruit so i'm actually going to eat a couple of oranges if you let me know have you had um oh i just talked together have you had blood oranges before like i promise you if i didn't accidentally buy this i probably would have never tried but it's, it's not horrible but it's, it's not an orange Mm. I got like a hint of sourness. It looks just like an orange from the outside. It smells just like an orange. But then when you cut it open. Surprise. It was not an orange. So yeah. I'm going to eat a couple of these. And then. I'm going to um do some do my grocery list. I didn't show this part on camera, but I did go through my pantry and um see what I needed and you know, so I have an idea when I'm sitting down. <clears throat> I know exactly what to write down. Myla tried this and she was just like, she was, she deserved an Oscar. She was like, <coughs> I can't eat this. Like she was just doing the most. I said, girl, just put it in the garbage and go about your business. So yeah. I'm going to have one more. And then I'm going to get started on my, I'm going to get started on my list. Would I buy these again? Absolutely not. But if I accidentally brought them again, I'll eat them. All right. That's good enough for me. Okay, so my menu is going to go on uh, my meal planning. No, my grocery list is going to go in this book. And, um, oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. hold on. Don't start falling out. All right. The camera's in a different angle, but it's cool. Oh, my God. Why are you being a hater? Like, come on. You was fine the whole time. Like, you was fine with me eating oranges. Now, you're trying to do bigger and better things in life. Are you hating? Let me see if it's going to stay. If I even start talking. Okay. So, my grocery items is going to go in this book. And my household items I need, I'm going to put in this book. And because I'm going to BJ's and to Walmart, I just took one page. So, you can see it. And I put BJ's. So all the items I need for BJ's is going to go here. And then I took another page and I just put Walmart and all the items that I need um, to get from Walmart is going to go there. BJ's, I'm mostly getting like snacks, like bulk boxes of certain things like yogurt. I'll get eggs and stuff like that from BJ's. And Walmart, I want to get um, like just my basic grocery needs and things of that nature. So yeah, again, if you're interested in any of these notebooks, and if you want to check out the other styles and designs of notebooks that I have, then be sure to check the link in the description box. Um, you can purchase them through Amazon. So you know if you have Prime, you can legit get your notebook in like one day. It, it comes super fast, and they are very, very affordable. So you know, I'm I'm not trying to jerk y'all, rip y'all, rip y'all off or anything like that. So yeah, so let me get started on my um, BJ's list. Alright, 
so I'm done with my BJ's list. It's looking like this. I don't know why my camera's not really focusing that well. But, um, yeah, I have honey, Kool-Aid jammers, fruit snacks, fries, um, bag chicken, tomato sauce, pasta, snack packs, yogurt, orange juice, turkey sausages, silk, milk, EVOO, that's extra virgin olive oil, and eggs. And another thing about um, these checklists, the grocery list that I like, I put um, circles right here next to it. So once you actually purchase the item, you can just check it off your list as you go down as you go down the list. And then each page has like a different fruit or vegetable on it, which is pretty cool as well. Like, you know, it's, it's the, the small details. And then here is my Walmart list. My list is full. And I have like um, fruits, applesauce, ramen, garlic bread, ground turkey, breakfast sausages, waffles, rice. Um, carrots, potatoes, water, um, what do I have here? Nuggets, chicken wings, bagels, cream cheese, cornbread, mayonnaise, mustard. Like, yeah, so this is basically my list for Walmart as well. So when I go shopping, I do my best to stick to my list. Y'all know um, I try to, I give myself a little budget outside of this list because I usually... Um, I usually end up getting extra stuff that's not even on the list. So I usually, especially when I go to Walmart, because Walmart has so many different things that you can get outside of food. The same thing for BJ's. But um, I give myself like a little $50 outside of my food budget to get any other thing that I might spot or eye. But yeah, so that's the child. I done made my list. I done took down. Oh, I forgot to take down the angel. I think I'm going to leave the angel there. Mm-hmm. I done took down um, the Christmas decorations. My boyfriend will take down the Christmas tree. I don't know if he's going to want to do that tonight. He could do it tomorrow or whenever. Honestly, I, I don't care when he, do, when he do it. Like, whenever he gets to it, he gets to it. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry that I wasn't so hyping and energetic and, and my happy, bubbly self. But, you know, this is just like... A little phase that I'm going through right now in my pregnancy. Let me know um, for all my mamas out there. Like, did you experience anything like this during your pregnancy? And if so, like, when did it hit you? Did it hit you, like, in your first trimester, your second trimester? Or, like, towards the end when the pregnancy was, was, was winding down? Like, it was time for you to meet your bundle of joy. So now, right now, it is 11.02. <laughs> It's 11.02. My boyfriend will be here in about an hour. When he gets home, it's the next day. When he gets home, it's always like a little bit after 12. Like 12.10, he'll get here. So, he'll be home in a little while. Um, what I'm about to do is just try to wind down a little bit. I slept a lot today. Like, legit, I woke up. I took Myla to school. I came back home, got in a bed, and I slept all the way until it was time to pick her up from school so i slept a lot today um i don't know if i'm gonna sleep when i go into bed but i'm about to shower find me a snack <laughs> and then try to find something on tv and just wind down and enjoy my night and wait for my boo to get home so he could give me he could give me some loving okay he could he could kiss on me and and hug me i don't know you know how you just get in those moods like you just you just want to want to be cuddled and coddled and yeah, that's how that's kind of how I'm feeling right now in this moment. Like earlier, I was just emotional and whatever the case may be. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Stay tuned for my BJ shopping video. I will be recording that, and stay tuned for my um, Walmart shopping video. I'll be recording that as well. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you'll know the next time I post a new video. I love each and every one of y'all for supporting me for Rockwell. Like, I'm going to keep saying this over and over again. Because without y'all watching these videos, without y'all supporting me, leaving comments, telling me that you can, even if you can't relate to me, just interacting with me. There will be, there would be no Life of Chevy Vlogs. Like, this channel would be non-existent. Like, it, would, it wouldn't be happening. So, I really, really appreciate every single one of y'all. All right, Blossoms. I'll see you in my next video. And hopefully, you know, your girl your girl got her beat back. Hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling better. I want to feel better. Like, who, who want to feel down? Boo? 
Like, ain't nobody trying to be no Debbie Downer. But yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, Blossoms. All right, y'all. So before I officially end this video, I just want to show y'all that my boyfriend has been trying to cheer me up. And when he came home, he brought me flowers and he brought me food. So, you know, he's doing his part. It's just a mood and a feeling. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's just me right now at this point in time. But, yeah, thank you, baby, for giving me flowers and always trying your best and your hardest to make me feel my best. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching.